Glory be to Yeshua HaMashiach, you guys. Hi. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon to you, brothers and sisters all over the world. All for the glory of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Lord Jesus Christ. However, his name is Yeshua HaMashiach in the Hebrew. Amen. At all times. Hallelujah. So, brothers and sisters, um, once again, good morning, good evening, good afternoon to you all over the world, wherever you may be. Um, it is so good to be back on here, and it is so good to have you brothers and sisters back on here as well. I hope all is well with you and Yeshua HaMashiach at all times, and I'm just grateful to be back on here. So, you guys, as always, we're going to just right now, just real quick, we're going to jump right on into a prayer, all for the glory of Yeshua HaMashiach, and um, we're going to keep it pushing off of His glory, amen, because um, these things we are in the wicked last days as you know do you understand brothers and sisters we all must always stay prayed up and we all all always must keep pushing forward to what father yeshua has commanded us to do amen so let's just go ahead and get right on into a quick prayer i'm gonna go ahead and um lead us in the prayer all for the glory of yeshua hamashiach amen so let's go heavenly father in your mighty precious name we all cry out to you right now yeshua hamashiach Lord Jesus Christ of heaven's armies and of all your creation. Father Yeshua, glory be to your name and to your name alone. For you alone are only worthy of our praise. Father, personally, I want to thank you right now for allowing me to come before the um, brethren. And first and foremost, for allowing me to come before you in your glorious presence. Father Yeshua, I humble myself before you and the brethren. And I thank you, Father, for using me as a vessel and as a mouthpiece. That's all I am. Precious Holy Spirit of the Most High, Only True Living Father, Yahweh of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Father, I ask you to just please take over right now. And Father, I want to thank you for leading the brothers and sisters back here for another testimony in this series that you have commanded me now to do called Before I Knew, pertaining to so-called gang stalking, really demonic harassment of your 144,000 elect. Father, it is already done in the kingdom. The victory in the battle is already won. And Father Yeshua, you and you alone have that victory and you have given it to us as your body, as your children, as a whole. Father, continue to have your way. I just ask Father Yeshua that you bless all the listeners. Father, I just ask that you please give them ears to hear and eyes to see. This is not Tania speaking to them. This is you, Father Yeshua, and your precious Holy Spirit through me speaking to them. Father, I just pray that anybody that may be feeling down in their spirit about this stuff, that Father Yeshua, you'll touch them and that you'll bring them peace right now through these messages, Father, that you'll bring them joy and comfort, letting them know, Lord, that their redemption is surely drawing nigh and that they have nothing to fear because Father Yeshua HaMashiach, you are fighting for them. And if you are for them, who can be against them? Hallelujah. Glory be to your name, precious Holy Spirit. Father, we all touch an agreement right now on this message, just saying, as a body, as your children, have your way. Thank you for allowing us to come together once again. And Father Yeshua, glory be to your name. And to all you demons and evil spirits in advance, take a exit. You're not welcome here. Holy Spirit, fire, Holy Spirit, fire, Holy Spirit, fire, all on you in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach in advance. Leave right now in Yeshua HaMashiach's mighty name. You are so worthless. You are just not welcome here, demons and evil spirits. Demonic realm, you're defeated. Get out of here in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Precious Holy Spirit all on you. Holy Spirit fire on you. Leave right now in Yeshua HaMashiach's mighty name. Father, I thank you for the brethren on this message. We all touch an agreement right now, Lord, that we all love you and we all thank you. And we say, precious Holy Spirit, take over. We say these things in your mighty precious name, Yeshua HaMashiach, as your body and as your children. We all love you, Father. We thank you. And to you and you alone, Yeshua, we say amen and amen and amen to you, Lord. Amen, brothers and sisters. So <laughs> let's go ahead. <laughs> you guys bear with me as always. Glory be to Yeshua. Let's just go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get right on in, into this testimony right here. So you guys... um. If you don't know what this is about, um, please go back into the first testimony. This is called Before I Knew. And Father Yeshua, not too long ago, about a couple of months ago, he commanded me to start doing this series right quick, Before I Knew, all for my fellow brothers and sisters of the 144,000 elect. You so-called targeted individuals, but no, really, you are the 144,000 elect of Yeshua HaMashiach himself in the book of Revelations, chapter 14, verse 1. That's who you really are. That's why you're so-called gang stalked, really demonically harassed by demons in the flesh, the serpent seed. You guys, they are not human. This is why they can do what they do. And you're just like, like, what is this about? Because you guys, it's spiritual. This is spiritual. 
like Yeshua HaMashiach has told you through me from day one is spiritual. Don't get in your flesh. Do you understand me, brothers and sisters? This is a spiritual warfare. This is the revelation that you're in. Amen. So here's the second testimony. If you don't know about the first, I would really highly recommend that you go back to part one in the first testimony and see what this is all about. But um, right now with this, this is testimony two. And it is called Airing Dirty Laundry. And you guys, um, this is why Father Yeshua commanded me to name this testimony this. Because once again, you guys, these testimonies are really based on true stories. This actually did happen to me. As, um, as um, you know, I was finding out the Father Yeshua was revealing to me who I really am in him which is a member of his 144,000 elect, just like you fellow brothers and sisters that belong to the 144,000 elect. But um, you guys, with this testimony in particular, I'm going to say I knew with this one because you guys, it was like um, about a couple of months ago, back in December of 2019 with this one. So I already knew what was going on. But Father Yeshua was still revealing a lot of things to me about this and what was taking place. So it just was a lot of crazy stuff. As you know, we're in spiritual warfare. So it's not shocking that this stuff is happening. Amen. But with this particular testimony that I'm going to give you, brothers and sisters, right quick. I know. I know. I knew with this one. But, you know, these are just testimonies, you know, from the times of me not knowing and then the, from the times of me not knowing till Yeshua slowly pulling me into knowing <laughs> and then all the way I know and then Father Yeshua is still showing me some things in the spiritual realm. So, you know, in between it all, but mainly with these testimonies, it's going to be a lot of the times when I did not know or Father Yeshua was, you know, pulling me into finding out that I was a so-called targeted individual, really the 144,000 elect. And, um... You guys, with this particular testimony, this actually just happened back in December of 2019. It was a couple months ago. So, um, if you guys don't know, I had told you guys back in the Angels in the Flesh video about my testimony of how these demons have been trying to, like, break things in my house. They broke the dryer and everything. So the, the dryer in my house where I live with my relatives currently, it does not work. And mind you guys, the precious Holy Spirit revealed to me they broke the dryer last year. See, this is when I was finding out that I was a so-called targeted individual, really a member of the 144,000 elect. This is when Father Yeshua was still bringing me into finding out. But I still didn't know yet. I'm still asleep in the matrix. And Father Yeshua is shaking me at that time like, wake up, daughter. So, <laughs> you guys, um, one day my dad took me, this was back in December, a couple months ago, my dad took me to go and um, do some laundry because, once again, they broke the dryer in the house. So, we had to go to the um, laundry mat to dry our clothes here in this house with my relatives that I live with because they broke the dryer. So, I go to the laundry mat with my dad because we both were doing laundry at the same time, my relatives and me both. So we all was getting it done together. And my dad took me to the laundry mat near his job. And as you know, as being a so-called targeted individual, brothers and sisters, really the 144,000 elect, you know how they do us. They always there. They always got them demons. They always waiting for you there. They always trying to set something up with their nonsense, whether it be direct of conversation, whether it be tampering, whatever they're trying to do, whatever it is that Satan is commanding his serpent seed, rotten baby children to do to you. They're always in place. They're always ready for you there. So, you know, I don't pay them no attention, though. They already know not to get in my way because I always got the sword right here waiting for them if they try anything stupid. So, you guys, excuse me, but I'm just really done. I don't play with the demonic realm like that. And that's the way we all got to be brothers and sisters because Father Yeshua has given you the victory. You have the authority over them. According to the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 19, you tread over them and not the other way around. So, you guys, I'm just saying all this because I went, as always, and I'm going to dry my clothes and I'm sitting in the laundry mat. And I'm just, I got my word and I'm meditating and they're doing all their usual nonsense, you know, keeping an eye on me or whatever. 
And I'm, and you know, I got my clothes in the dryer and I'm looking at everything because my dad's clothes, they put their stuff all the way at the other end and I put my stuff on the other end. So, but my dad, he went to go and you can't see my quotations, but I got them going on right now when it pertains to my dad. But anyway, he put his clothes in the dryer on the far end and went outside and wait. He said, I'm gonna go and wait in the car like he always does. So he left me in the laundry mat alone like he always does. And I don't got an issue with that. Once again. The Father Yeshua is with me at all times, and I say that humbly. So I'm just sitting there listening to my music on my phone and everything, waiting for the clothes to dry. I'm watching our clothes, making sure they ain't trying to do nothing to them and everything. You know how they do. And it's this black woman there. They send this black woman in there. She looked about in her mid-30s, and she had three kids with her. Yes, guys. They are wicked like that. They'll bring their children to this nonsense. But anyway, yeah. She brought her kids in. It was this black woman who had three little kids. She had a daughter and I believe two sons. And she brought them in. They told her to come in. <laughs> and I'm sitting there. The Lord told me to look up and to go near my relatives' clothes, near the dryers with their clothes in it. And I'm like, Lord, what do you want me to do? What? He said, Tania, go to the go to the dryers at the end. And I'm like, okay, so they're all crowding. You know how they do. It was barely nobody there when we first got there. It was what? It was a, what? A black girl, and a what? A couple of others. But as soon as I'm there, they all show up. Oh, all these people got to do laundry all of a sudden. I don't think so. So the Lord told me to get up and go to the far end to watch my relatives' clothes because this black woman, they must have had told her to, you know, try to be funny getting in the way of my relatives not my dryers but in the way of my relatives dryers and i'm keeping an eye on their stuff too mind you because my dad went to go sit outside so the lord told me to get up and go see what they were doing so i'm like i take the sword and I'm, i don't play with them move out my way don't be crowding around me don't be doing none of that because you will get pierced in the spiritual realm i'm not talking about physically it's spiritual and they are they were all moving out the, yeah move out the way because i'm not playing with you yeshua hamashiach through me does not play with you demons and evil spirits move so she had the black woman she had one of her her children near our dry my relatives dryers my dad's dryer that he was using and i'm like you know excuse me like you know no you're not gonna do that and they were trying to be funny so I, you know move out the way and i'll move i'm not playing with you serpent seed move and then that's when i had to stand there the lord told me to stand there and a black woman, she was, you know, it was her children. She, they were, they had her to do that. And, but you guys, why I'm saying this is because I could tell she was so convicted. She knew what she was doing was 100% wrong. And that's when it was revealed to me by the father that she was a real human being made in his image, but she was now a reprobate. But she still knew that what she was doing to me was wrong. And she knew that I knew because she saw my Bible. I had my Bible. I always keep my sword with me. You guys, brothers and sisters, always keep your sword with you. She knew what she was doing to me was so wrong. You could, the Lord told me to look at her from the corner of my eye while I was standing right beside her. And she was pretending to use the dryer. But really, she was there sent by them to so-called gang stalk, really demonic, demonically harass me like they all do us. So, you know, you could just see the conviction all on her face. She knew what she was doing was so wrong. She was so heavily convicted. It wasn't even funny. And she was so convicted. She It looked like she was failing in her mission. Like she had to go and sit down. That's how convicted the precious Holy Spirit was convicting her. Like she knew she was wrong for all what she was doing and what she was there for. And she knew that I knew that she was harassing me. She already knew I knew. So she's there with her children, mind you, a, a black mother with three kids. And like I said, it don't matter about race, but it's like, really? She looked like she was a single mother with a bunch of kids at a laundromat here to harass somebody. You know how they do. And I'm looking like, Lord, have mercy. But you see, I didn't judge unrighteously because I don't know her. Don't want to. That's how I was looking at it in my mind. You know, because I'm like, Lord, this is so wicked with what they do. I'm just here to mind my own business, Father, and do what you're telling me to do. You could just tell she was so convicted, you guys. She was convicted. And, you know, you know how they get on their phone, playing with their phone, getting their so-called instructions from the demons, Satan, their father, telling them what they should do. And this was all happening while I'm drying my clothes and I'm looking after my dad's clothes, my relatives and them. And then my dad, he came back into the laundromat minutes later. <laughs> and, you know y'all see the laundry but yeah he came back in and that's when I you know we we started to fold our clothes because our clothes were dry now so she was still there on the other side of the laundry mat sitting on the chairs or whatever and after I had finished I had finished folding my clothes first before my dad 
And so I told my dad, I'm like, let me go out in the car. I'll just wait for you outside. And so I went out to put my clothes back in the car and then, but then I had to come back and get the rest of my clothes. And when I was coming to get the rest of my clothes, the remainder of them, and I was leaving out the door, she was still sitting there with her three kids and she was playing on her cell phone. She kept looking up at me. And as I was walking out, you guys, that's when her little boy, he looked about five years old, you guys, brothers and sisters, glory be to Yeshua, I lie to you not. He was young. He looked about five years old. That's when he pointed at me and he said, oh my goodness, that's her. He was telling his mom that, Lord have mercy. That's her. That's the one, the picture, her. He was saying that about me as I was leaving out the door, you guys, to the laundromat. Bam, right there. Yeah, she was sent to do that. You know how they do. And the little boy told on her. It was so blatant. Her, her own little son told on her. That's her. That's her, mama. Meaning she had my picture and everything. They had gave her my picture. They told her what she needed to do and everything. But she felt tremendously. You could just see the conviction all in her face. She knew what she was doing to me was so evil and so wrong. And I believe that she failed in her mission because they had a, she was on her phone the remainder of the time. As she was watching me along with the others with her when they were all in that laundry mat. She felt miserably. And I could tell, you know, she was so convicted. The precious Holy Spirit told me he was convicting her. She was so convicted. She had to go and sit down. And I was just, I could tell. And, you know, the Lord had to, you know, keep me in order. Like, you know, I'm just, because I cannot, I'm going to be honest with you. I hate these demons. I do. I hate all demons and evil spirits. I don't hate no human being made in the image of Father Yahweh. Not at all. To see the Adam. No. Because you're my fellow brothers and sisters. But. I hate the demons with a passion, you guys. Yes, I do. I cannot stand them. Of course. Of course. All of us feel that way as the seed of Adam because they evil. We have enmity, remember? The book of Genesis chapter 3, like, you know, Yeshua through me always tells you guys. But the whole point of it all is she was so convicted. You could tell she couldn't finish her mission. She was so convicted with what she was doing to me. And she knew what I was up to. She knew that I knew she was up to what she was doing. So, you know, after that, she sat down for the remainder of the time and they were telling her what she should do. But the precious Holy Spirit gave me all the more grand confirmation by her son blurting it out. He pointed at me. He said, hey, mama, that's her. Like, that's the one that you are here to harass and stalk. And after I walked out, I was like, Lord, have mercy. Bam. There you go. You guys, this is it. As you can see on your screen, this is the like, you know, a few videos back. The father through me told you this is the time. This is it, you guys. They know they're finished. And with the ones that are now reprobates, like I told you guys, it's about 1% that are so-called gang stalkers that are human beings that are just now reprobates. The rest of them, though, are the serpent seed. They're not human. But I could tell with her, she was human. And she was so convicted. It wasn't even funny. She couldn't even finish what she was doing to me. She knew she better not because the Lord was with me there. But you guys, this is just so sad. You know what? Glory be to Yeshua HaMashiach. I humble myself. This is the second testimony that I'm giving you guys about what took place with me um, at the laundromat with this testimony and with this series that Yeshua HaMashiach is commanding me to do now titled Before I Knew. So this was back in December of 2019 and glory be to Yeshua HaMashiach. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, everything that's done in the dark, it shall come to the light. And her little son told on her. So see, they can't hide no more. Always stay encouraged and know that Yeshua HaMashiach is for you and protecting you. That's all you need to know. But you guys, I'm going to go ahead and get on off of here. I love you, brothers and sisters, so much. Until the next testimony, I love you, brothers and sisters. Take good care of yourselves. And may Yeshua HaMashiach, may he always, always bless you and keep you. I love you and take good care. Bye. Thank you, guys.